An elaborate scheme uncovered after a former Vice Star employee is accused of embezzling millions from the credit union by stealing postage stamps. And now a friend is questioning whether Dwayne Sykes used the money to fund multiple movie productions here in Jacksonville. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joins us live from the downtown post office, a place the indictment says was critical to this scheme. Scott? Mary, the federal indictment says Dwayne Sykes would often come here to the main post office in downtown with large checks from Vistar to buy postage stamps for the company. Instead, the indictment says he would pocket a lot of these stamps. In the end, after more than a decade, the indictment says he embezzled more than $5 million. A federal indictment detailing an elaborate scheme by a former Vistar employee. The indictment says Dwayne Sykes worked in the mailroom at Vistar's corporate headquarters in Jacksonville and was tasked with buying postage for the company. The allegations say Sykes would sell the stamps, almost $3.7 million worth, to a large New York-based company which resells stamps to collectors around the world. In total, the indictment claims he embezzled approximately $5.4 million from Vistar. I asked neighbors if he lived extravagantly. They say the house is about 1,200 square feet. His car, they estimated 20 years old. The indictment doesn't reveal a motive. Dwayne Sykes is a local movie producer. In fact, his IMDb page credits him with dozens of independent movies, many shot here in Jacksonville. Did this seem like a man who had $5 million lying around? I thought he had a trust fund. Matter of fact, he told me he had a trust fund is what he said, because really people were amazed at how much money he was able to spend on uh, filmmaking. Sharon Cobb is a close friend and worked on many projects with Sykes, like his recent one, Ortega River Rats. Is he self-funding a lot of it? or He was self-funding all of it. Really? Yes. Cobb says Sykes also told her about being fired from Vice Star about a year ago. This seemed awfully odd to me that he had been there all those years and then just suddenly he's let go like that. Now she wonders whether all those movie crews got their paychecks because of an elaborate scheme involving a credit union and the post office. And Vice Star says when it discovered what had happened, they reported it to the federal authorities, they released this statement to me saying this isolated incident did not in any way compromise member personal information or accounts and is immaterial to the company's financials. We're live downtown at the post office. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Scott, you got to wonder how millions of dollars could be missing and why it took 15 years to discover it. Did Vistar offer any explanation for that? I asked that question, Mary. They said they can't comment because it's an ongoing criminal matter. But late this afternoon, I did get a call from that stamp buying company who was purchasing all these stamps from him over the years. They said they thought it was suspicious years ago and even contacted the postal inspector who eventually told them, look, we checked it out and it seems OK at the time. So they said, keep buying from this guy. We don't know specifically what changed here recently. Back to you. Wow, Scott Johnson reporting to us live. Thank you, Scott.